Hello guys, welcome back to another weekly collective energy reading. So, as usual, I pull a couple cards out of a few different decks, and we see what the message is for the week. So, let's get into this. We will start off with these, and let's get right into it. So, we have Divine Timing. Let go of your timeline. Spirit has a plan. We have Healing Guide. Focus on your health. Choose it above all else. And we have Environment. Your environment needs a change. A trip or a move is coming. So let's start off with Healing Guide. So your healing guide is telling you that it's time to make your health a priority. You're being called to make time for healing. This might mean saying no to other people or canceling your plans. Something seems out of sort right now and your guides are connecting with you with the right contacts for physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual healing. Pay attention to the hunches you're getting, the names you're hearing, and the signs you've been seeing. You may feel the push to receive an energy healing session or you may hear the call to learn how to do energy healing work for yourself and others. So, the point with this card, focus on your health and pri prioritize it above all else. Choose only what's healthy for your energy this week. Spirit will guide you to the right resources. Affirmation, I allow myself time to heal. So, yes, focus on you this week. Focus on healing this week. Okay. Next, we have environment. Okay. So, environment, plants can't thrive in bad soil, this is a call to look at your environment, is it nourishing your soul or is it draining you of all your energy? Your spirit guides are asking you to make changes so that your external world matches your internal one. In one way or another, you've outgrown the place which you are living, it might be time to start looking for new decor, a new home, or a new location altogether. At the very least, your guides are asking you to consider traveling. An easy way to change your physical environment temporarily. So it's time to shift your energy. So yes, your environment needs to change. A trip or move is needed to nourish your soul. So yeah, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe do like a winter clean out. I mean, not everybody can just pack up and move, right? Like, I know that I've kind of outgrown my space, but I have to wait till the spring. So, you know, not everybody can just pack their bags and leave. You know, unfortunately, it costs money. You know, nothing's free. I wish it was, but it's not. But, you know, maybe uh, go hang out with friends. Um, go spend some time with family. You know, anything, you know, that you can do. Anything that you can do to kind of switch that up. Or move your house around. You know, rearrange the living room. Rearrange your bedroom. Do some cleaning. Get rid of some stuff. Divine timing. Divine timing. So, your spirit guides are working to create opportunities in divine timing. They're asking you to let go of your schedule and learn to trust that spirit's timing is in your highest good. Detaching is a must. Your spirit guides are preparing something even better than you even could have imagined so let them direct the process your job is to follow your intuition and take action when inspired so things are working out in your favor you'll receive your solution in divine timing let go of the timeline spirit has a different one okay affirmation all things flow in divine timing Okay, so trust that divine timing. I know it's hard sometimes, but we can do this. We can do this. All right. We have prosperity, abundant success, emotional desert, inactivity, isolation, and then sensitivity and strength, tapping the forces within. So, we will start off with sensitivity and strength. The situation calls for some sensitivity now. It may be an issue with a friend or someone at work or in your family. Even if it's in your nature to be strong and control and sometimes even aggressive, remember that it's possible to be both tender and strong at the same time. 
This card is telling you to pause and resist any old urge to plow through things right now. Consider the peace and compassion you could introduce into a tense or tenuous situation. When you look at the situation with flexibility and calm clarity, you bring gentle, receptive yin energy to the issue. Then your sensitivity and strength will come together in vibrations as a powerful and as soothing as the sun's rays. Affirmation, I express my sensitivity and strength in equal measure. I always have the courage to take the most honoring approach. All right, emotional desert. So, this card signifies a time of inactivity or isolation. You may have been feeling unproductive or uninspired in an emotional desert, longing for real purpose and connections. In spite of that longing, you just don't seem to have the energy to reach out and make things happen. Still, this is not a card of doom and gloom, even if you seem to have lost your energy and your enthusiasm or even your connections. Take heart. Look into the future. The right, on the right side of the card, you can see a beautiful oasis with lush trees and nurturing water. The message is clear. You still have the power to connect, produce, and create great value in your life. You may have to make some plans and put forth some effort, but you can finally break through this low vibration and choose to generate a more powerful momentum of joy now. Okay, so affirmation, I am a vital force in the universe. I have the power to create great value in my life and in the world. And then we have prosperity. Abundance and success. Oops. This card heralds a time of great prosperity opening up for you. Abundant blessings may come in many forms and for many reasons. It may be a project that you've been working on for a long time. It's finally coming to fruition. An investment or a potential property sale could be paying off. Or some unexpected gift like an inheritance may be coming your way. Get ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor and the rewards of your faith. You deserve great undiluted joy. And that radiant garden will be blossoming soon. Even if the shower of blessings only comes in drops and sprinkles at first, remember to notice the gifts already gracing your life. The moments of laughter, beauty, peace, and spirit presence can bring you joy each day. The more you acknowledge those and other forms of value in your life, the more newfound prosperity will grow and multiply. Affirmation, abundant forms of value fill my life. I am attracting increasing prosperity, greater peace of mind, and more joyous times. All right, next we have Star Gathering, Star Being Healing Colds, Serious Star Blessings. So, Serious Star Blessings. The message that comes with this gateway is a giant yes. It brings the energy of wishing on the star and seeing that wish coming true. This is a time for you to move forward with any projects or ideas that you have felt called to carry out. There is an energy of positivity, abundance, and excitement surrounding you at this time. Whatever dreams you've been revisiting recently aren't dreams, but premonitions. And know that whatever you're connecting with on the inside is assumed to be something you'll be experiencing in the physical. So think about what you desire instead of what you fear. See yourself celebrating as if your wildest dreams have come true. As you do so, you'll be creating the perfect energy for them to manifest into your world. Star gathering. The stars have aligned and you have found the lost pieces of yourself and your energy. And now is your time to shine. You are magnetic attracting people, energies, and opportunities that will allow your dreams to unfold. This is a time of wishes fulfilled. All of your dedication, focus, and dreaming has paid off, and now you can reap the rewards. It's important for you to know that this plane of existence is your rightful place and to not spend too much time trying to transcend this reality. For you chose to be here at this time, so make the most of this powerful opportunity. If you are feeling particularly connected to a certain individuals at this time, it's because you are finding your star family. Beings you connected with before you entered the cycle of physical incarnation. And as long as you are connected to yourself, you are always home. Okay. 
Okay. Then we have star being healing codes. Thank you, star beings of healing, for placing your hands of light upon my being and guiding me back to my whole and healed self. So if the world seems overwhelming or intense at this time, know it's okay for you to retreat to a safe space to cleanse and recharge your energy. You may feel called to be a healer for others and share, share your healing with the world, but please ensure that you are balanced and filled up with light first. This is not the time for you to sacrifice your own well-being in order to serve others. Light beings are placing their hands upon you now, filling you with divine light that will wash away any blockages or stagnant energy standing in the way of your freedom and wholeness. Star beings are channeling healing codes and frequencies into your being, and it's important for you to stay alert for any intuitive guidance about your body so that you can be restored to health once more. Okay, so continue to work on that healing. It's very important. All right, we have Star Mother, You Are Already Doing It, and Soul Family. You are already doing it. Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north, okay? So do not question things so much. You are on the right track. You are facing the right way. So stop overthinking. It's all happening. And you are closer than you think. You are exactly where you need to be right now. And things are moving at the perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things could be moving faster enters your head, that is just your ego comparing your eyes to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane. Water your own garden. Knowing that your time to bloom will come soon. Okay, so keep moving forward. we have star mother how can you mother yourself you are more held than you could possibly imagine loved and cherished so dearly that if you knew you would not spend one second of your life in separation with worry or fear let the mother carry your burdens let her rock away your fears lay all of your worries regrets shame and guilt on her altar please please sweet child do not fear you are love in motion. If you allow it, you are already healed. Let her remind you of your goodness. Let her love let her love away your fears. Your capacity to love and hold others is limited to your capacity to love and hold yourself. Be compassionate with your sweet body, mind, and soul and treat yourself like the beautiful spirit that you truly are. Remind yourself that you are doing your best and try not to carry it all on your own. You have got this and the mother has got you. Let her broad arms take away your burdens let her lift the weight of the world off your shoulders forgive yourself my dear sweet child of earth okay so mother yourself take care of yourself you come first okay it's not selfish you come first then we have soul family call in your tribe you do not have to do this alone okay it's time to call in your soul family and support team, people who get you at a soul level, people who are the same kind of weird as you, people who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by, but in order for them to find you and recognize you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. If you have already found them, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can consist of all types of people, such as therapists, coaches, mentors, or other healers, and even friends. Tune in to what kind of support you need now, okay? So call in your support team. If you're feeling lonely, feeling down, call in that soul family. I'm still trying to find my soul family. I have not found them yet, but I am trying to be open to that, and I trust that they will come, okay? So hopefully you have found yours, or yours are coming to you as well. And then... We have, you are good enough. Expect powerful change. Luck is on your side. So luck is on your side, okay? So count your blessings, literally. Write them down or say them out loud. You need to laugh more. Have some more fun. This is a wonderful time to start a course of studying or teaching, whatever that looks like for you. Don't be so narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice, whether it's on Facebook, it could be in your journal, a blog, 
anything. Good things are coming. Good things are coming. Okay. Next we have, you are good enough. Yes, you are. So find a balance between the cosmic and mundane in your daily life. Again, whatever that looks like to you. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. So try not to worry, okay? I know it's hard, but just try to shut that off. Try to distract yourself with something good. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop second-guessing yourself and trust and raise your karma by doing something good for someone else, okay? And again, you are good enough. And then, the last one we have for the week is expect powerful change, okay? So never mind the past, life evolves every single day, okay? So something good is coming. Something good is coming. You're being shunted towards your life purpose, whatever that is for you. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. And there could be an important turning point coming in your life. So pay attention for that as well, okay? So these are the messages for this week. I hope some of this resonates with you. And I hope you have a great week. And I will see y'all next week with another one. Love y'all. Peace.